everyone, I'm Sarah Roth, the Director of Outreach for Reptrum. I've been serving the 6th District since the Congressman first took office. I can tell you, though I know his reputation precedes him statewide, the Congressman hit the ground running in 2019 and hasn't stopped since. Dave didn't come to Congress because he needed a job. He came to Congress because there was work to be done and he was ready to do it. Often referring to constituent services customer service, the Boss Health team trained to an incredible standard and together we met that standard every time, every Congress. Congressman Trone's legacy in Western Maryland, a region that is often left behind, will be long lasting. It never mattered which side of the aisle you sat on. The first two questions the Congressman asks every time he meets with stakeholders are, what is my mission and what homework do you have for us? While those are usually followed up with, where can I find the best soft serve? Folks know they can count on the Congressman to be responsive and to work every possible angle to find solutions to the challenges they face. Thank you for your service, Congressman. It's been one heck of a ride. While Maryland will miss your steadfast and unwavering advocacy, I, like everyone gathered here, am excited to see what comes next. Because sitting back and relaxing is not the David Trone thing to do. Hey David, April McLean Delaney here. I just want to congratulate you tonight on all the years of service you've had in the 6th District and will continue to have this term. Um, everywhere I've traveled throughout the district, people talk about your incredible constituent services, all of the amazing investment and earmarks and different things you've bought back to the district. And really, I'm gonna have big shoes to fill but more importantly, I think you've got a big heart and you've got to, I'll have to have a big heart that I'm gonna to have to give because you have given so much to the people in the sixth district and you continue to do so. And I look forward to working with you over the next several months and in the years to come. So here's to you, David Trone, and thank you for all you are and for all you do. To my good friend, David Trone, Representative Trone, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for your support over the years. Thank you for your friendship. And thank you for the work that we did together in Congress. I've never seen anyone bring their life experiences to the work that we do as I've seen in you. You've rolled up your sleeves. You've worked hard for the people of Maryland and for this country. I admire you. I appreciate you. And I wish you and June and your entire family Godspeed in the years to come. Good evening, everyone. Thank you to the Maryland Democratic Party for hosting this event. I'm sorry I couldn't be here with you all tonight, but I'm glad to share a few words. First and foremost, I want to recognize the service of Senator Ben Cardin and Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger and John Sarbanes. It's been an honor serving with you to help our state and our country. I'm a strong believer in what Vice President Hubert Humphrey once said, the moral test of government is how it treats those who are in the dawn of life, children, those who are in the twilight of life, the aged, and those who are in the shadows of life, the sick and the needy. As you know, I lost my nephew, Ian, to a fentanyl overdose when he was 24 years old. Having worked with him for years to gain access to the best treatment or navigate the criminal justice system when he was at his lowest, I met the countless people in the shadows of life, who needed someone to fight for them, someone to bring their issues, issues like addiction, mental health, criminal justice system reform, to the halls of our nation's capital and deliver results. For the last six years, I've had the distinct honor of doing so. While this is my last term in Congress, the fight is far from over. Today, our nation is at a crossroads. We're fighting to protect rights we thought were settled decades ago. We're fighting to ensure every American has access to health care, education, and an economy that works for them. And we're fighting to keep a convicted felon out of the White House. It's hard work, but we must push forward. In the coming months, we must get out, show up, meet the voters where they are, and elect Democrats across our state in the U.S. House and in the U.S. Senate. Our democracy, it depends on it. So it's time to get out, vote from Oakland to Ocean City. I know this team is the right one to get the job done. Let's get to work.